What's happening, everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to you with another video with my main man, Brandon, with Retro Junk 1987 on Instagram and YouTube. Brandon, you've been selling toys for how many years now? Uh, on eBay, about 10 to 12. Yeah. Before that, I mean, I still have my original toys from when I was a kid, so it's kind of gone from there. <laughs> yeah, so we've had Brandon on the YouTube channel quite a bit, and uh, he's super knowledgeable when it comes to selling toys. And today we want to talk about something that a lot of people don't talk about, and that's selling toy accessories on eBay. So why should people listen to this video? Why is it important for people to learn about selling toy accessories on eBay? I mean, toy accessories essentially just add value. So say you have a Ninja Turtle figure um, and it's just a figure, none of the accessories, whatever. You might get three bucks for it, three to five dollars. You start finding like their little belts and their weapons um, and any little helmets and headgear and Every piece you find adds value to that item. And the more you have with it, the more you can get for it. So essentially what people want when they're selling like the ultimate thing that resellers should be looking for are toys that are 100% complete. So like, like, like uh, Brandon said, a lot of toys have accessories, weapons, shields, you know, the list goes helmets, on. Yeah, yeah. the list goes on and on. So the more complete an item, it, the more complete an item is typically the more it's going to sell for because the average customer is probably like a collector. Correct. Right? So they're but, looking for it to be 100% complete. Right. Because think about it. Um, <clears throat> the first person to own that item was probably a kid. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I played with my toys. So <laughs> stuff, little stuff, little swords and stuff like that got lost. Belts got ripped and broken. So that's why these things hold such value because they're the pieces that go yeah. missing or break first. So, you know, for the people watching right now, are you actively going out looking for toy accessories or are you going to like Savers Goodwill and you're, because over at our Savers, we have like bags that are hanging on like the little, the pegs against the right, wall. Right. And a lot of times you'll find like tons of various toys, accessories. So are you plucking out the accessories and saving them based on like the theme or whatnot? Or are you actively like putting out wanted ads? Like how are you getting these? Accessor I usually don't specifically look for just accessories unless I have that one figure that I know is high dollar item um, and, that, and if it needs one part, I'll go online and see if I could find it for cheap. Yeah. Um, I'm not going out sourcing just accessories, but a lot of the times when I buy large lots, there'll be random odds and ends thrown um, in without yeah. any, with the figure gone. So you hold on to it and hope that you come across it in another lot, really. What are like some of the most, uh, I guess, profitable or valuable accessories out there? Like, are there specific toys? Is it Star Wars? Is it Power Rangers? Is it Ninja Turtles? Okay, so once again, all those, all of those topics or categories will have certain figures that are higher dollar. Yeah. So really, it's not certain lines that you want. When you come, when it comes to accessories, yeah, it's certain figures within each line. Oh, okay, got it. That are more it. worth it to find the accessories for. Yeah, cool. And uh, how do you determine the value of accessories? Like, you know, if you're buying a huge lot, maybe off a of Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or at a thrift store, or whatever, maybe you get a huge bucket. Like, how do you know what's valuable, what's not? Are you going through? Like, for the average person watching, they're not going to have as much knowledge as you, Brandon. So they're not going to know. Like, even myself, I'm not going to know what I, any of this stuff right. is. Like, going through each one, looking up. It's gonna take more time than I feel like is worth it. I mean, even with me, just because of the sheer volume of stuff that there is and toy lines and accessories, yeah. I don't know off the top of my head a lot of the time. So with some of this stuff, what you have to do is, so you get a figure, right? You go online on eBay and find a complete version of that figure. Got it. And then you, in search of sold listings, find the price. Then you search the sold listings of that figure just by itself without the accessories. Because then you can tell the difference in price between a complete and mm. him just by himself. Yeah. So then you can kind of figure out the value of the accessories based on that. Okay. So if you have a $50 complete figure. Yeah. And he's only $5 by himself. You know that the yeah. accessories are worth about $45. Yeah. Okay. So you kind of have to, it's kind of on a, the basis of doing it as you go. Yeah. You're going to have to do some work looking it up when it comes to accessories. And how do you how do you advise people to organize like toy accessories and whatnot? Because when you're dealing with toys and you know, I've seen your inventory, I've seen, you know, my good friend Vinny's and other toy sellers as well, at times it can be a challenge and you need to have like a strategy like 
all these accessories and stuff, like what's the best way to organize them and manage them? I'm probably not the best person to ask because <laughs> as you can see, these are all just mixed in one bin. Um, and this is just some of what I have, but a lot of the times you just want to try to keep, um, once again, certain lines together. So get a bunch of bins like this, maybe label them Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, whatever, and then try to keep those accessories yeah. in those bins. And that's probably the best way yeah. to do it. Um, Another cool tip, I know we talked about Facebook groups in one of our other videos. Yeah. So um, a very cool and helpful Facebook group is, um, it's called Action Figure Identification. Okay. Not only can you take figures and pop a picture in there, and usually within minutes, someone will tell you what that figure really? is. Like comment on it yeah. and tell you what the figure is. What's cool about the accessories is, what you do is you take like a white piece of paper or a poster board and make a grid on it and number the grid and put each one accessory in each Got it. square on the grid. Oh, yeah. And then someone will come on and be like, number one is from this line. Number two okay. is from this figure. Like, And they're super helpful. So that's one of the things you can do to save time is yeah. utilize those kind of groups yeah. on Facebook. So don't throw away your accessories if you come across never, them, never. especially at garage sales. You could find huge lots of toys. Do not throw them away. And you can get them, them for nothing. Yeah. Because you can seriously just be like, okay, there's not even a figure here. It's just a weapon. Like, And people will almost give them to you. What are your thoughts on for somebody who maybe is running you know, a pretty serious eBay business and they don't have time to go through each individual one, can you just take a whole lot and like sell them for weight? Or is there a strategy if you wanted to sell, like maybe you had a whole bucket, you took all the toys, you plucked them out, you sold them for a huge profit. Now you have all these accessories that you don't know what to do with. Is it best, like, is it okay to just put it in a huge lot or? Oh yeah. Like what's the most efficient way to do it without having to get super specific? For accessories, lots are definitely a good option. Like a weapon, like just put all the weapons in one, put all the shields in one, even if it's different, once, like. Once again, you, you're you better off at least separating it by line. Got it. Um, but yeah. you can, because there's people out there who um, customize figures and make their own and they use different weapons for different figures and, so someone like that who runs a business yeah. um, creating figures and they need these weapons. So mm -hmm. they'll buy them in lots and use them for other figures or or it'll be a, a space that yeah. specifically sells action figures yeah. and they're gonna match them up themselves and yeah. let them deal with it. Mm. You'd be surprised what some of these accessories are worth by themselves. Like, yeah, some of them might only sell for five or six or seven dollars, but you ship it out for a couple bucks or a dollar. I mean, what's, what would it cost? Shipping on something like this, that's like one ounce. Not much at all. Um, what is Less it? than a couple bucks or so. I know the it's prices went like up two. recently. The price is something small, yeah. Yeah, but there's people on eBay who literally, their only business, their whole entire business is selling accessories. Parts they have and like, accessories, They have yeah. like 50,000 SKUs, yeah. right? I would love it's to true. see, I would love to see their, their inventory management system. I don't know how they do it, to be honest with you. If you're strictly with just accessories, it's yeah. just so much. I think I interviewed, when I interviewed my friend John, uh, John Cleeter, I believe him or one of his partners, I believe they were selling Legos and different things. So they would sell like bricks, like just I know, pieces. And they would like have like, they had a whole system, like yep. a whole shelving system yep. for it. I know an elderly couple who are both retired and he and his wife, that's what they do. Yeah. They wake up in the morning, have breakfast and then sort Lego yeah. parts. And they have little compartments for yeah. each little piece. You'd and be they make a killing. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Like there's an ask for every seat. Like <laughs> there's so many different ways to make money. I'm not telling you guys to get into like the accessory business and just part everything out. <laughs> it's just something else to it add is to the something, repertoire yeah, that you can. Exactly, yeah. you can definitely add that to the repertoire and there's there's opportunities here. So do not throw the accessories away. Maybe you wanna sell them individually, depending on if you have more time than money or money than time, or maybe you wanna just sell them as a big bulk lot. Again, try to separate them by line, which I thought and, was a really good tip. And base it on the figure. If you know you have a high dollar figure, yeah. don't waste your time on doing it with a $5 figure. Yeah. Like even complete, it'll sell yeah. for five. So don't do it <laughs> you know if yeah. you have a hundred dollar figure you want to complete it and exactly. get top dollar then do it cool awesome well uh appreciate all the tips brandon if you guys Anytime. enjoyed this video do us a big favor and smash that like button down below if you guys want to see more toy videos we're recording a bunch of videos together today uh regarding toys and we've actually posted a couple in the past so uh if you guys um, are trying to both step up channels. yeah i have both a few channels. you have a few yeah, so if you're trying to step up your game and uh, grow your business, one of the best ways to do that is to continue learning about 
new niches, new opportunities, new products to sell. I mean, if you walk into a thrift store and you're knowledgeable when it comes to clothing, like you're gonna find stuff, but what if you knew about board games? What if you knew about toys? What if you knew about accessories or yep. plush? It just ups your chances of yeah. finding products. And so the more you know, the more money. you grow. Yeah, I that's mean, right. if you wanna make more money in your eBay business, you've gotta find more profitable items and it all boils down to knowledge, right? That's right. So, Hopefully you guys learned a couple things in this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment down below letting us know what you learned and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.